This is computer graphics today. Physically based material, direct lighting. You could see the shadows. They're hard shadows. We could try to trick it by blurring it a little bit, but it's still going to be basically that. And this is what RTX looks like. Okay, so. Hey, you got to clap at the old stuff too because, you know, it represents... <laughs> It resembles us. So here we go. I'll give you a chance. Guys. This is where we came from. You got to be proud of it. You got to own it. It's ugly, but you got to own it. Before, after. Before RTX, after RTX. Oh, no, this is just the beginning. I'm just warming you guys up. I just gave you an olive for the appetizer. Okay, can we uh, show them some stuff? Nacho, Hi. is it you and me? Yes. Okay, so, so this is Nacho. He, uh, he's one of our dev techs, incredible computer scientist, amazing computer graphics engineer. This is what he was able to do with RTX off. RTX off. Now, of course, this scene is incredibly hard, and the reason for that is because you can't use tricks like screen space reflection here. You could put some reflection probes, but it's just incredibly hard here because things are being reflected all over the place. There's refraction. You see that graphics card back there? That's, that's a beautiful graphics card that announced it a week ago. That's called the Quadro RTX. And you got this crystal ball here where it should reflect and refract. There's a little green ball on the ground there, and then there's that chrome ball in the back, and this, this empty, I don't know why, but empty, empty uh, glass box. And, so, and it's got area light coming in, which is really hard to do, okay? And so in this particular case, Ignacio is doing his best to emulate the area lights, but the shadows are ugly. Um, you know, this is, this is the limits of today's computer graphics. Now, we could fake a lot of stuff. We could fake a lot of stuff by, by arting it up and cause you to not look at it. But in the final analysis, this is what the limits of today's computer graphics is. Now, Ignacio, let's turn RTX on. So our, let's take a look at RTX on and look, look what happens. Uh, the, the refraction of the, of, the, uh, of the glass globe there is just incredible. And look at this, the little caustics on the ground. Um, the the uh, uh, area lights um, cast a soft shadow. The uh, umbra and the penumbra, notice of the graphics card. Uh, the shadow of the chrome ball looks right. Now there's reflection of the glass box in the RTX, Quadro RTX. You see Quadro RTX from that sphere, and you see the reflection of the uh, chrome ball with a little bit of rough surface to give you a sense of material. Everything just kind of looks right. Even the glass is casting a shadow. Even the glass is casting a shadow. Hey, let's go back to the last one again. Ay. Ay. Yeah, I know. Now, of course, we've got to add a whole bunch of paint and a whole bunch of stuff to make it look right. Or we could do it this way. RTX on. <laughs> and there was a gasp in the audience. <laughs> but this, this could possibly be a photograph, right? Nacho, show me what you got. Oh, come on. Okay. Pretty incredible. Oh you, oh, you have to turn on a spotlight on top of that. Everything just works. Everything just works. Look, glass reflects and refracts and magnifies just like it's supposed to. And you just have to turn it on. And so the benefit of RTX is just turn it on. Thank you. Good job.
Hey, my hey, name's Chad. Chad. Hey, I'm over here. And apparently I work in the DevRel team with Kada, and apparently I just got a new Turing, so I'm really excited. Bingo. <laughs> so what we did is we worked with uh, Nixies and IDOS Montreal to bring real-time ray-traced shadows to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's perfect. And so the thing to look at right now with, with RTX off, you saw the crisp shadows up there, and you saw right here. This is really hard to do, and that's why they don't do it at all, which is dynamic lights and shadows. These are dynamic point lights. They're really expensive to do in current rendering techniques, because basically you have to cast shadows in every direction from the light. And this is, goes back to what you were saying earlier about having to put a cube map here and a cube map here, and every time you move, you have to redo all that rendering. So let's put RTX to the test and have it just do it for us. Aww. <laughs> the beautiful thing about ray tracing is you turn it on. You know, when you turn on the light, it just does the right thing physically. And because we're tracing these rays physically, it should perform according to what we expect. Yeah, and, and so the, the umbras, where right behind, where it's nice and, nice and dark, uh, it's correct. And where penumbra, where you have the softness of the shadow, because not all of the shadows is occluded, part of it is lit, uh, you get some softness. Yeah. Off and on. Wow. Now let's take you to, you were talking about some of those area lights earlier. You want to look at some examples of those? Yeah. Well, here's a big example. This is an incredibly lit scene. This whole scene is amazing. It's beautiful. And so what we have here is we have two cone lights and two area lights. Those area lights are basically rectangular shapes, the neon lights above the stage. And what you notice is the shadows below are hard, like you keep talking. And this is state of the art for real time graphics right now. And I got to say that because the guys are sitting right next to me who made those shadows. And they are bread. This is the best we have right and now. They look, and they look beautiful. Yeah, they look, they beautiful look great. Until they now. And the way that, that's simulated, those area lights are simulated essentially as a couple of point lights. And that's why you see such hard shadows. Exactly. But if you simulate the area lights like area lights, mm -hmm. because we ray traced it, and de you? independent of where, where the rays bounced around, eventually, if it were to hit some part of that area light, it gets lit. And so ray tracing is a much more cost effective, in fact, yep. um, however, very difficult to do, uh, way of doing area lights. And let's turn this on and take, uh, take a look. Uh, so it you get the nice real. blend of the color and the light. It's Isn't that beautiful, guys? It's rather, it's rather, and rather. We, can do, we can do whatever we like. We could, we could um, add more area lights. We could add more spotlights. You can mix it all together without trying to fidget with it, without trying to figure out what is the definition of right. Right just looks right. That's another wisdom. Right looks right. And talking to the artists that do this, they tell me all great things about shadows. They're telling me shadow is another color to them. They love shadow. And they also told me that shadow and light is what they use to set the mood and tone of their environments. And so that's how important shadows are. And it feels like we just gave them a lot more depth for it. Some more on, more on. Okay, what'd you got? Well, let's, we want to take a look at some more area lights that are very interesting. Kind of take yeah, let's take a look at one more shadow. All right. One more shadow. So this is kind of cool. We have the three area lights above, and we have hidden and kind of in shadow. You see this? Star. Look, I can reach that. Whoa, whoa. That right there, that's the, the umbra. Mm -hmm. okay. You want me to turn it on? No, no. Keep going. And that's the penumbra just now. Okay. Okay. You see, that's the penumbra. No, no, no. Keep, keep it off. Keep it off. Okay. Yeah, see, that's the, that's the umbra. And notice, notice how sharp that is. That's just not right. It should fade away. Okay, turn it on. There you go. There you go. Otherwise, it looks like another person on the ground. Look at that. The contact hardening just works. Leave it on. Contact hardening just works. The umbra works. The penundra works. Everything just works. Okay. All right, man. Good job, Chad. Thanks. Guys, like, let's take a look at an exclusive trailer of the Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So just as I was describing earlier, the light is coming in through the window. It's bouncing around inside, and as a result, we're lighting. Look at that. We're, 
that corner is darker, that corner over there is completely dark, and that light right above, right above the windshield is nicely lit. It does exactly what you expect it to do, and it does it all by itself. Just put sunlight outside. Super high intensity ambient light. Put it outside and everything just works. Everything just works. Now you could do it the other way. No, go, go to direct light. You see this? This is the way computer graphics basically works. Now, of course, we could create a whole bunch more fake lights. We can create a whole bunch more fake lights. But in this room, if you created more fake lights using spotlights, you'll get all these different areas that are lit too intensely and others that are not. And it looks like you basically turned on a whole bunch of lights. Now, what you could do, and what Matt did earlier, is turn on basically an artificial global illumination light, which is basically a fake ambient light. It's like somebody comes in here, and instead of allowing us to light this room with global illumination, which is happening right now from these monitors, like for example, I'm being lit by the monitor, and you guys are all being lit by this screen, this, this 4K gigantic beautiful screen. This, this, um, uh, and, and so the entire room is being lit with indirect lighting, indirect lighting. But here, because they can't do we can't do indirect lighting back in the past, as in yesterday, we had to put a fake light in here. It's like somebody comes in here and put a fake light and constant intensity, constant color throughout this entire room. As a result, the places that should be dark, like back there, isn't dark. The places that should be more bright is the same intensity, okay, which is what you're looking at now. So this is wrong, and let's look at right. Look at that. Delightful. So, so Matt, our, fr our friends are now able to have like creepy monsters literally squatting in the corner. Yeah. Take a look in the rafters in the ceiling. When RTX is on, they're black. I could hide anything in there. But if I'm li lighting it ambiently, you can see everything up there. When we have RTX on, it's correct. There's no little light up there. So we can actually hide things in. We can make the mood and the environment perfect by just letting the normal light in the room. Games will never be the same. No, sir. So scary. All right, good job. Thank you.